Barcelona's back, baby. And wouldn't you know, Messi scores a goal, gets two assists, and Suarez is back on the field. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. La Liga is in full swing, and Barcelona has its first game in over three months since the break from the pandemic. Barcelona looks good. It's like a whole new world out there. We left where the chemistry was kind of off for Barcelona going into this long break, and now it started right off the gate moving fast. Suarez is out for the entire season? Nope. Suarez was able to come in as a sub today. Things have changed, and Barcelona looks good. They came out of the gate so fast, Barcelona was able to score with basically within just after the very first minute. You know, so Kubo has the ball for Mallorca and he's trying to bring the ball out of his defense, but De Jong steals the ball from him right outside the 18 yard box, dishes it off to Jordi Alba. Jordi Alba hits that perfect ball that he always does, that crossing right onto a streaking or Arturo Vidal, and he had he gets the positioning was great. He took the positioning from Mallorca, headed it down left side. Great start. And it wasn't just the start. Matter of fact, Barcelona played very high pressing ball straight from the gate. They played up. They only really had two center backs sitting back there for the majority of that first 15, 20 minutes, which had Odujo having his very first game as a starter, second game total, right next to um, PK. And Lengle was out. So... We know we're going to see a lot of rotations, but it was good to see him step in where he was, you know, and you know, you can expect these teams to slow down a little bit just because they haven't played in a while. And, and you did see that a little bit for Barcelona around like the 20, 24th minute. They started to get spread out of position a little bit. Mallorca showed that they do have an effective and aggressive counterattack as well as pretty vicious up top. But I thought Barcelona did a, a good job keeping conditioning or keeping positioning where they needed to to make sure that they weren't taken advantage of. I'm not saying that there weren't some great shots by Orca, but Ter Stegen did a good job saving. He had some good saves for about a five minute, uh, about five minutes they were attacking pretty hard on Barcelona, but they kept, they kept moving. They did a great job. Matter of fact, Barcelona scored just after the first minute and then they scored again about the 37th minute. Now, Braithwaite gets a goal. Messi starts the ball on the outside of the 18, passes the ball to the left outside to Jordi Alba. Ball kind of hits, when he hits it back, kind of hits a few players, bounces off, hits off Messi's head, drops to the ball right to about the penalty spot. Braithwaite crushes the ball 2-0. You could feel the momentum. You could feel they were having themselves a really good game, and it was nice to see Braithwaite get a goal. One of the things I noticed since the break is that Barcelona's buildup looks a lot it looks a lot better um, now i'm not saying that they're in 100 percent peak condition i'm not saying that they're not going to have a lot of subs so that the chemistry will get off a little and have to adjust due to new players coming in but it looked better the passes were crisp it looked like they were at about 90 percent crispness at times at their peak in this game the ball movement was great the positioning people dropping into position where they needed to be looked pretty good it, it really did so and it looked like just maybe a few more games and then we'll get this thing ironed out. So it was great. It was great to see. Now, moving into the first half, 2-0. At the second half, there was Barcelona had 71% of possession going in at halftime. Two shots on goal, five total. But with only 29% possession, Mallorca actually had the mo more shots on goal. They actually had more shots on goal being three and more total shots being seven. So you could tell that when Mallorca gets the ball against this team in that center defensive mid position that sometimes leaves a little bit of space, they also have Kubo who's very threatening out there. They're getting shots off. So Barcelona was still a little bit victimized by getting giving opportunities to Mallorca, but they still played well. The buildup was good, and the attack down the right side in the first half with Sergio Roberto was it was great. He had a lot of space, a lot of give goes, messy. A lot of the players down that side were building the ball up the right side. Halftime goes in, Vidal was subbed out, Rakitic went in. Uh, one crazy thing that happened in this game was while there's no fans and, and they actually have, you know, La Liga or being sports here, I'm not sure who's doing it actually, but they have like an automated uh, fans in, in the crowd. So, you know, it looks like there's someone there. They've also got sound from, you know, historic games so you can hear what it feels like try to have some emotion and i think they do a pretty good job to be fair pretty good job of creating an environment for not having anyone in there and today was no exception 
Just like a regular game, a fan ran onto the field during the game. No clue how that's possible, but there's a little bit of an element of a real game. Um, also, Suarez, which people were thinking either he's not going to play or he's only going to play a few minutes. No, Kike Setien had Suarez subbed in from Griezmann at the 56th minute. I wasn't really expecting Suarez to get that much time, so... He got technically a significant amount of time, uh, about 35 minutes. And while I do feel like Griezmann did a good job getting back on defense, they they chose to keep Braithwaite in and sub him out for for Griezmann. So Suarez was in, and he still got he had a few opportunities. It was just great to have him back, to be honest. Um, but up front, they were doing good. They kept pounding it, kept the uh, position. Now in the second half, it got a little more sluggish than the first, but like I. Kind of we all kind of thought first game back you're gonna have a little bit of things to iron out uh, Mallorca has a very fast transition and occasionally they would catch you off guard especially the players that can work with little little room they don't need a lot of room to create opportunities to create space to shoot but Barcelona held up pretty rough pretty good and Arujo I thought he did a good job for sitting back for Ling Lei, I was kind of impressed I'm not saying he had a perfect game but he looked solid back there and they're gonna need a lot of rotation with you know giving the players uh, five subs because there's going to be so many games in a short amount of time. We're going to need to have confidence in all the defenders because they're all probably going to get playing time. So that was great to see. Defense held up pretty well. Jordi Alba already had an assist, but he went ahead and got a goal in the 79th minute. Ball Lewis, actually, this was an assist by Messi. He pulled, ran back just to stay on side, probably about, I don't know, 30 yards out. Played the ball to him down the left side. Took the ball straight to the goal. Hit it in the left side. 3-0. Jordi Alba is amazing. And he looked really good today. He really, really did. Messi, while there was a lot of players getting subbed in, like Semedo and Arthur and Junior Furpo, honestly, Messi decided to play the full game. And it paid off. In the 93rd minute of the game, Messi gets the ball. Actually, Suarez does a beautiful turn as a pass is pushed up with his back to the goal he turns the defender gets the ball lays it off to Messi on the left side so Messi's on the left side has he how he typically goes on the right side and crosses the goal in this situation he had the ball on the left side dribbled across and shot with his right foot scored a goal it was a slight defect deflection but it was an effective goal the game ends four to zero great great return game for Barcelona no way around it it was a great great game Another thing, just some of the things I thought of the game, some of the players, Messi was having fun attacking space. He, he was doing a good job. Roberto did a great job down that right side, creating opportunities. It, he really did. Um, Rujo for a first starter, starting game, I thought he did a good job. He had a couple gives, giveaways, but he did a good job in defense. He's got the speed to be able to protect uh, PK. PK didn't spend as much time attacking up this game, I noticed, but still, the two center backs did a great job. Suarez, he did have a shot. He had a couple opportunities, but mostly you could tell he was getting back into the groove of the game. And just to have Suarez to finish off this season is awesome. That's not something we thought we were going to have. Now we have a solid offense to finish this campaign. Jordi Alba could have been the man of the match with the goal and assist and the way he was attacking space and creating opportunities. He really did a great job. Griezmann and Braithwaite. Did a good job getting back on defense as well. Now, I know Kike Setien wants everybody playing, everybody helping, and I do think that this is maybe part of the system that's starting to work itself out because they did come back and make some great saves. They did. As far as the player, Kubo, who used to play for our program and then goes over to Real Madrid and gets loaned out, the kid looks good. He looks solid. He looks fast. He doesn't need a lot of space to create um, lanes. It's great. So, I mean, he's a good player. It's unfortunate that he got out of the system. But with all that being said, welcome back, everybody. Great to have games back. Talk to everyone soon.